Game on. Hey there, game gurus. Welcome back to the channel. Today's just a small little update video. So I've been talking a lot about my uh, my Build a Cave right here, and this is the Adventures of Robbie Roto, which is again we include with the Build a Cave. And this artwork here is from Escape Pod. It's really nice artwork, and it's a nice looking machine. You can make it look like all different kinds of machines, different controllers, all kinds of fun things. But a lot of people really want well something more along the lines of this. And this was originally designed like this. It was just a project that uh, Arcade Workshop Gary had made for me. So we had to make some changes to this so it didn't look so much like this, but people really do want this. So I tasked my team with, is there a way that we can make it look more like a Donkey Kong or a Popeye, Donkey Kong Jr., uh, Mario Brothers, so people want to do it on their own. I can't do that, but if you want to do it on your own. So I come up with the idea, and just with this little piece of foam right here, just putting some space back in the uh, part that's cut out by the bezel. That's the biggest change. It's, I know it's a little silly looking, but the first way we came out was something along the lines of this. So I printed it in gray, not black, so you can see the part that's been added. Now obviously you wouldn't want to print it in black, so it matches the sides. You can see right here, it's starting to take shape of, uh, well, a Donkey Kong or a Popeye cap. You can kind of see it side by side right here. You know, they're very, very similar, and they're actually pretty darn similar without being put in place. But the big problem I had now with this first version of it, um, we printed it as one piece. So you go to your 3D printer and you print it as one piece. You have to use a lot of um, supports. And it, it kind of makes it look a little janky, you know, if you will, uh, even if you're good at 3D printing. And the other thing is, since it's one solid piece in this particular form, you have to disassemble your whole Build-A-Cade, put it in place, and then build the Build-A-Cade around it. I didn't want to do that. Uh, I want people to be able to mod it, but not always have to take the machine apart. So the next thing we did, just trying to make some room over here for all my stuff. Put this over here for a second. So after that solid piece, I went to something along the lines of this. And this actually is three separate pieces. So let me take a look one second. I have them actually separated already. So there's a couple of advantages to this. So since these are all individual pieces, you can print these flat. So they come out looking a lot cleaner, as you can see all the different parts and we did put uh, screw holes so if you did want to make it one solid piece you can make it one solid piece if you wanted to so the thought I had was it'd be easier to build doing it in that fashion and this here uh, let's see right here when you put it together it looks something like this again this is three separate pieces you can if you can barely see it inside there there are little screw holes if you want to make it one solid piece you can screw them together with small screws but this will give you the right look now, I actually have this in one of my machines right now. Before I show you that, duh, here is a regular build a -Cade. It is assembled, and this actually has a Viper. This is my first one uh, with a Viper installed. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna assemble it. Now you can, if you wanted to, like I said, you could take a machine apart and you build it, and these kind of go in place, they kind of sit right in these grooves. But we made it now, this is the fourth revision uh, of this. We can now put this together and put it in place without having to disassemble this at all, leave everything the way it is. Let me show you how we do that. So the one good thing about 3D printing is you can you know, prototype them relatively quickly. So we have these all printed here, and these are printed on my uh, iMega 3. It's a about five-year-old printer, but it still does fine with something like this. And it's designed in such a way, it can only go put together one way. You can't put it backwards, you can't put it upside down, it just won't fit. But when you put it in the right spots, so we press it in place, just that easy. And it clicks into its little grooves, and that's it. And again, you can see the screw holes now. So if you wanted to screw this in one solid piece, you definitely could, because like I said, you could put this in as the machine's already been built. Put my other side on right here, just like so. That's it, it is now assembled, and this is now ready to go into build a cade Let's see how it fits in the build a cade without disassembling it. Let's go. Now it's gonna be a little hard for me to do here, standing up and doing all this, but I'm gonna give it an attempt. So all we need to do is get this in above the joystick and put it in place. So I'm gonna kind of slide it in like this by the joystick. You can see how it's sitting in there in the grooves. I'm just gonna slide it back just like that, move it up into place on both sides. And I'm just gonna gently, and again, you only have to do it gently, line up the, oop, make sure you can see it. Line up your spots like so. Press down on the top first and work your way down. You should hear a little click. And that is it. Look at that. So you can take this in and pull it out uh, without having to take the whole machine apart. Now again, it's printed in gray, 
So you can kind of see the difference between what was the original build decade and what the enhancement. My next step is to print this in black so it all matches up. Now, the artwork that's out right now is all designed for the original black part of the build decade. We're going to get out stencils for now the new form factor here. Now, once you do that, obviously this will all be covered up. You can't take this apart here. However, you can still disassemble your build decade and these will separate as long as you put the screws in, which is why I personally don't think you should put the screws in. But some people want to do it, they can do it. But by not putting screws in, these will stick to the decals as you disassemble it, and you can disassemble it and reassemble build the cake. But now when it's all done, I'm going to show you how it's supposed to look, more or less. So again, this was really just a quick turnaround. Because right now, this is the current artwork you would have. I envision, really, we do a stencil for the whole thing. This will all be blue coming down here with the decal on it. And you can see how the front looks now. You can actually see into the machine. Now, I would recommend a piece of acrylic here on the outside. Uh, the best way to do that would be to you know, put this artwork here on the acrylic and then double side taping the acrylic or gluing the acrylic to that uh, bezel. Glue, uh, hot glue would probably work just, uh, just as fine. But you can see that really now looks a lot more like that. Again, it's only printed in gray right now just to show you the difference in, uh, in the two. But you can print this yourself. Uh, we will not be doing it. I'll be, uh, stencils, the STL files on uh, probably Thingiverse or another site that I'll, uh, I'll put it up on. I'll put a link down below to that. But you can print these and then print out your artwork and then you're ready to go. Well, that's it for this video. I just really wanted to show you how to turn your Build-A-Cade, if you wanted to, into something along the lines of this. Make yourself a Donkey Kong, Donkey Kong Jr., a Mario Brothers, a Popeye, something along those lines. But just want to, even something like Robbie Roto, in a different shape, just to make it look different. Something you can do. And that's the thing about the Build-A-Cade. You make it your cade. So whatever you do, remember to always tell your family and friends that you love them, but when you want to play these type of games and have some fun, game on. Now you're looking for that arcade experience at home, but you don't have the space for a full-size arcade in your house or endless funds, then you need the GRS build a -Cade. It's arcade quality without the arcade price, from someone you can trust. The GRS build a -Cade is very simple, easy to assemble, one six scale arcade computer you can build yourself. You can buy interchangeable controllers for every gaming option you need to play the games the way they're meant to be played. You can also design your own artwork or purchase artwork separately to make your GRS build a -Cade look like the machine of your dreams. The GRS build a -Cade is also the only home system STEM certified. Come see what all the YouTube creators are raving about. GRS build a -Cade. Game on. Sit, Blue Blue, sit. Good dog.